the greatest military invention of World War II? Do you want to know more? Please stick around. Welcome back everyone to another fun-filled video. So today we're going to be talking about what I think is probably one of the greatest military inventions of World War II and that is these can openers. Now I know I'm going to have a lot of people arguing with me, oh what about the atomic bomb, what about this, what about that, da 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 da. You know hey they all have their place. but. I used to be an infantry soldier, a grunt, and <laughs> you ever hear the term an army marches on its stomach? Well, that's pretty true. And these are super cool because they totally fit into the whole mess kit thing. Now this right here, I'll bring it up close so you can see it, this is a P-38 can opener. This is the original. Now this is a World War II era or probably Korea War more than I think about it era P-38. Now you can see it's got a patina on it. It's pretty old. I actually got this when I was at Sand Hill in uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. And there's actually a pretty cool story behind me getting that. When I was at Sand Hill, after we had finished up AIT, we were waiting for uh, graduation. And the DIs come, they, they had us doing all kinds of chores around there, stuff that they didn't want to do. And they come and they grabbed like five of us and had us cleaning out this old, old, old storage area. And in the very back of it, we found this large cardboard box that was kind of it almost felt like it had wax on it or something and we're you know we're pitching stuff but we had to know what we were throwing away so we opened the box and it had all these well what we later found out was sea rations in them so we, we uh, went and got the DI and asked him what it was and everything because none of us had ever seen anything like that because in the 90s, we were all about the MRE, you know, the brown MRE. Well, he told us what a sea rat was, and he's digging through the box, and he found, because with each sea rat, they had these can openers, these P-38s. And he's like, yeah, these are probably left over from Korea or Vietnam, he didn't know which. And he actually opened the can and tasted the food, and he's like, yeah, it tastes all right. <laughs> we're like, what? So we ended up having lunch. We ate some of the sea rats, threw some of them away, and out of that box is where I got this P-38. And it says right here, US Speaker, that's the company that made this particular P-38. And I have kept this with me ever since. I carry it in my wallet, folded up just like that. As you can see, it's got a little hole here for a lanyard hole. And I can't tell you the number of cans I've opened with this. All right, that's a P-38. This is a P-51. It's more, uh, like bigger, obviously, but it's the same basic design. It hooks on the can here and you just cut into the can. This is made by US Shelby Company. And even though these are very similar, there's some differences besides size here. In reading a lot of the reviews, these more recent manufactured U.S. Shelby ones have a tendency to wear out, but not the blade. What tends to wear out is this little point right here. Wears down and it won't grab the can as well. I guess these aren't as tempered and well made as these older ones. But I saw uh, some different dealers on Amazon that sell these. I bought some 
and I put one of these P51s in each of my mess kits. And I thought I would share with you about these can openers. Well, it is lunchtime here. I'm getting ready to make lunch, and I want some cream corn to go with the lunch. Now this has got the pop top lid, but I'm not gonna open it that way. We're gonna flip it around and we're doing the bottom of this and we're gonna use this P51. And basically, you get this to hook in. See how it's hooked in and where the blade is? Get it hooked in. Let's see if I can do it. I keep sliding off. There we go, I'm cutting. you go around just like that that's a little odd doing it this way because the rim of this can on the bottom is kind of inset from the body whereas the rim up here is out so it'd be easier to do the top but I don't want anybody saying shenanigans on me that I'm cutting the top that's why I'm cutting the bottom just to show you that these things do work they work very well okay now the one thing you want to do with these can openers when you get done is wipe them off and clean them you don't want to leave any residue on these and I will go ahead and I will clean that after lunch. One thing I did want to point out, as you can see, it does cut the can very well, but it does leave a very jagged, very sharp edge inside and out. So that's something you want to be aware of when you use these style of can openers. All right? Okay, I'll catch you after lunch. So quick little history on these. Um, the U.S. Army actually calls this U.S. Army Pocket Can Opener. Uh, can hand folding type 1 that's the P38 type 2 is the P51 and yes they're both genuine issue items now one of the big things a lot of people argue about is where the name came from P38 P51 because there's aircraft of World War II that had those designations there is uh, two different stories one story is that the P-38 takes 38 uh, repetitions of this movement around the can to open a C-Rat can and the P-51 which was issued for um, mobile kitchens took 51 rotations around a number 10 can, think a large coffee can, to open it. That's one story. The other story is they were called 38 and 51 due to their length, which seems to make a little bit more sense to me. Here's the P51, and if you measure it, oh, sorry. If you measure it, it's 51 millimeters long. And the P38 is 38 millimeters long. Um, not that, you know, the War Department during World War II, I think, used metric measurements very often. But you have to also consider food rations were given to the Allies. They were given to the British, Australians, whoever. And I don't know. I don't know which, which story is true because the further you dig into it, the more sources you have on both sides of the fence. But that's irrelevant. These are very useful, they're very compact. To give you an idea how light they are, we're gonna weigh them real quick. Okay, so we have this, we're gonna set it in pounds first. The P51 is 3 eighths of an ounce or nine grams. The P38, is four grams or one eighth of an ounce okay that's a pretty compact lightweight can opener 
Now, let's talk variations. A lot of people who camp or into the outdoors have a Swiss Army pocket knife. And the can opener on these has been around almost as long as these can openers. And yes, these work. You know, you just gotta know how to use it. And it makes a jagged opening just like those do. But very common, very useful. But this, granted, it's a pocket knife. It has a lot more functions than this, but this does way more. Now, one thing when I was doing research for this video, I came across was this. It's a can opener made in Japan. See? Made in Japan right there. And this is a gigantic scaled up version of these military can openers. And it's also got a bottle opener right here. But look at the size of that monster. Look at that. And the blade is super thick. The blade itself, it has stamped on there stainless steel. I mean, how cool is that? Now, when it's dinner time later tonight, I'm going to be opening another can and I'm going to use this and we're going to see how this works out. It's dinner time and I'm making barbecue so we're going to open this can of baked beans. We're going to use the Japanese ganji which is just a basically a giant P51. Oh yeah, this thing's easy to use. It's not as quick as the mechanicals, but uh, this is probably going to outlast any mechanical can opener out there. Okay. Boom. We are set. All right. And just like the P51s, even though this is a stainless steel blade, you want to wipe it off clean it, take care of it, it'll last. And there we go. Another alternative can opener for the outdoors is a lot of multi-tools, like my Swiss tool here, has a can opener on it. And these can openers work very well. It's a very heavy duty. I mean, it's made by the same people who make the Swiss Army knife. I think they know a thing or two about can openers. There is another variation of the military or outdoor can opener I want to talk about. I don't have an example here. I wish I did. Um, I've only ever seen pictures of them online. And it's from Australia. And it's called a FRED. And that's an acronym that means Field Ration Eating Device. And basically... It has a lot of the same functionality as this P51, but it's much longer, and at one end it has a spoon that's in the uh, stamped steel, and opposite of the blade here, like over here, is a bottle opener, and it's kind of like an all-in-one military device. Uh, they look really cool, but I've never seen one like in a surplus store or anything here in the US. So I, I never had the opportunity to pick one up. I, I saw a few online ones for sale, but they're all the way over in Australia. And I don't know, you know, with the way everything is, if I bought one today, I might get it in like six months. Who knows? Wrapping things up. That's all I really have to say about the P51 or the P38. I think they're great little can openers. They're very compact, they're very small, and they're very lightweight. And if you're putting a mess kit together for the outdoors, it's something worth having. But like I said, if you're already carrying something like a Swiss Army knife or a multi-tool, you might already have a can opener on them, so you don't need to worry about this. And I don't know anybody that would carry this into the outdoors. That's going in my kitchen. <laughs> and it's all certainly better than a big old clunky mechanical like this. Nobody wants to carry this 
I will see all of you in the great outdoors having fun. Thank you for watching.